Alec, what are the benefits then of the SW12 that we have here? Main benefits is the twin platen arrangement. So we've got opposing platens that allow us to turn parts such as this. This is less than one millimeter, it's 50 mil long. So it's a very stable cut as one platen. The forces on one side of the platen are equaled by the forces on the opposing side of the platen. That's very interesting. How, how do you avoid it actually flexing or breaking just because you've got those two forces? Absolutely. Again, we're turning very, very close to the guy bush face. So it's a very, very stable process. And this can be turned as long as the main stroke on head one. And how long could you go with a similar sort of part like that? Well, basically, sliders can turn parts as long as you can handle the parts outside of the machine. So there's, there's no limit. But this machine, it's got 135 mil of stroke on head one. So you could go up to 135 mil without restroking. And even at a very small turn into a very small diameter like that? Absolutely. We've done other tests that's point turning you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Maybe not quite as long, but... And, and what about on the end here? What is that? Have you engraved there? Yeah, we've got a full suite of engraving cycles that suit all our um, models. And, and we're just engraving SW12R2. Uh, we've also got a, a scraping cycle that we're using. Again, that's free to all our customers in, you know, that use it in the fastener industry. And is this one of your smallest sliding heads? It is. We've got an SR10J that's a little bit smaller, but this machine, you know, it accepts you know, 10 mil square stick tooling, so it's, it's pretty compact. Driven tools, obviously, as well. How many? Absolutely. On the back side, we've got eight stations that can all accept driven tools. Across the twin platens, we've got up to six stations that can accept uh, driven tools.